Shalom, shalom, family. This is Yehuda from Yah's Assembly, and we're back into a psalm or two a day. Today we're going over Psalm 43. Uh, so let's get into it. It says, Judge me, O Elohim, and plead my cause against an ungodly nation. O deliver me from the deceitful man, from the deceitful and unjust man. So we know that in his day, he was talking about his own people, his own nation of people that were coming against him, trying to kill him. You know, from the once King Saul, who had lost the throne, to David's own descendants coming, trying to take him out, right? That was a very ungodly, deceitful, and unjust nation and man. And we all go through it. We, we're all living in an un godly, <laughs> unyali, uh, deceitful, and unjust nation. Especially over here in America. This is America. This is what we were brought up in with the spirit of Gimme. You know, this um, fictitious American dream that's really more closely tied to a nightmare. Yeah, this was a dream or a heaven for certain groups of people, but this was, was a hell or sheol for others. Uh, but I digress. And then it says, uh, verse 2. For thou art the Elohim of my strength. Why dost thou cast me off? Why, I, why go I mourning because of the oppression of the enemy? So David would always let the Most High know that it's because of you. You are my strength. He would always humble himself. He would always make himself lowly and submit himself to the Most High. Because it's all through him. Through Yahu Yahushua. It's all through him. And it says, Why dost thou cast me off? Like, why are you forgetting about me? Why are you putting off saving me? <laughs> you forget about me? You don't look you don't love me no more? <laughs> it ain't the same no more. You don't love me. Now you know that I praise you in front of anybody, everybody, and even when I'm alone, I praise you even more. And it says, Why go on mourning because of the oppression of the enemy? Like you why am I going through this? Why am I literally in tears right now? And you know what they're doing to me. I know you hear my cry, my cry, Father. Can you can you help me? Can you save me? He says, Oh, send out thy light and thy truth. Thy law is thy light, and the law is truth. And Yahushua is the word of the law or the Torah made flesh. Oh, send out thy light and thy truth. Let them lead me. Let them bring me into the holy hill, into thy tabernacles. So he wants the truth and the light to lead him to salvation. <laughs> and this one's really interesting as we um, get into, you know, the next verses because the certain Hebrew words can be used in you know different ways, just like any language. But it's interesting that the word that they use in that verse five. We're on verse 4. So it says, Then will I go unto the altar of Elohim. Now this is when the light and when the truth has been made manifest in him and have brought him to this uh, place of safety, right? Uh, he said, Let them bring me unto thy holy hill and to thy tabernacles. Then will I go unto the altar of Elohim, unto Elohim my exceeding joy. Yea, upon the harp will I praise thee O oh, my Elohim, my Elohim. Because David understands the the key of David or the keys. He had the keys to the kingdom because he always made a joyful noise unto Yahuwah. Um, he would always come before him uh, with singing. Uh, he always sung praises to the Most High. That's why David was able to, to do things, to eat the show bread and not die. Um, that's why he was able to commit sins and then ask for forgiveness in the right way in the right manner and be forgiven of his sins which were scarlet which were many he talks about how they outnumber the hairs on his head now think about how long at suffering the most high must be and his loving kindnesses and his tender mercies are forever but we don't even a lot of times we just don't think that we're worthy enough well, truthfully, truthfully we're not but you got to be bold enough to ask for it. Because if you don't ask, you, you're not going to receive anything. 
And uh, in verse 5 it says, Why art thou cast down, O my soul? Here David goes again talking to himself because he's trying to win the war of the mind. or He's trying to win the war of the spirit, the Ruach. And why art thou disquieted within me? So this word disquieted, it means why are you uneasy? Why are you uncomfortable? Why are you roaring? Because you know, you know, when you really let your mind go, um, it won't stop. You'll be panicking. Um, you'll you'll start feeling like there's uh, talons or something like really scratching into your brain. You're restless. You know, you're irritable. Everything that can go wrong will go wrong. So David, he's asking himself, why art thou cast down? On my soul, and why art thou disquieted within me? Like you ain't got no faith in the Most High. Then he's like, "Okay, self, hope in Elohim. Do you hope in the Most High? Is that He really where you fear and put place your trust in, your faith in, your Amuna in? For I so yet praise Him, who is the health of my countenance and my Elohim." So. No matter what he's going through with himself, he's letting his, his mind know that he's going to win this spiritual battle. He's going to take the kingdom by force in his own mind. Uh, he said, I'm going to praise the Most High in advance through the storm with, with the harp, with, with joy. <laughs> it's coming for him with singing. And he says that because the Most High is what he is, the health of his countenance, of my countenance and my Elohim. So the normal Hebrew word, that I've seen, one of the most frequent ones for health is Rapha, right? Um, there's other ones. There's another one, Aruka. Those are like the two main ones that come to mind. But here what it says that, um, for I shall yet praise him who is the health of my countenance uh, and my Elohim, <laughs> right? What word is being used there? It's not either one of those, which was really interesting. So, we're going to go to this word. <laughs> we are going to go to this word. Where is it at? Who is the hell? It's H3444. Now, it's transliterated as what? Yahshua. But we know that that's a bad transliteration. It should be Yahusha. So he's not necessarily even just saying who is the health of his countenance. He's saying who is the salvation of his countenance who is the deliverance of his countenance for no matter what he's going through so he's because remember uh, it talked about uh, in verse 3 oh send out thy light and thy truth this was prophetic so he was telling him to send the savior of the world uh, send, send the holy one of Israel send Yahusha because he is the health. He is the salvation. He is our salvation. He is our health. He is our deliverance. Send, send the deliverer. Send the kinsman redeemer uh, to my mind, to my circumstances, to my relationships, <laughs> to my finances, to my enemies, and let them know who really, who really got my back. It's time to start having faith in the Most High. It's time to Fight for your mind, or the government's going to take it, or somebody else is going to take it. If you don't prioritize your mind, somebody else will. It needs to start being a priority again. For goodness sakes, get outside. Turn the TV off. Read your word. Read books. Start talking to people. Take those masks off, especially if you're indoors or in the vehicle. It makes no sense. So let's pray. So, Father, again, um, we're thankful for this day. Um, we're thankful for our cars. We're thankful for our homes, the clothes on our backs, the shoes on our feet. We're thankful for each and every word and thought and action that we're allowed and able to do. Thank you for the gift of life. We ask for the uh, forgiveness of our ancestors and, and our iniquities, Father. We ask for you to throw them into the sea of forgiveness, Father. We ask for you to uh, lead us into the way into your life, Father, and help us to be uh, what you have created us to be, Father. Uh, thank you always for your loving kindness, your long-suffering, your tender mercies. Thank you for your, your mercy, um, that in, which endures forever, forever Father. Um, 
Thank you for your Torah. Thank you for sending Yahushua to die for our sins, Father. Um, again, thank you for your mercy, which endures forever. Um, and we all say, Yahuwah, be magnified. Because you are the all of all. You are Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the truth and the light. And thank you again for sending Yahushua to uh, be our kinsman redeemer, uh, to be the perfect sacrifice. Thank you for your faithfulness unto death and beyond. Um, in Yahushua's name, Amen. Again, this is Yaki Yehuda from Yah's Assembly, and this was Psalms 43. Salam. Whoa.